job especially like in your late 20s because i feel like when you're younger do it be a barista be a waiter do those jobs but as you get older you can switch into a desk job if you're really desperate like i was get on the phones especially now most customer service roles are they are they are work from home so they report remote work which is a huge perk take them up they're a good way to enter an industry banking tech anything you can enter through that role through that world i would recommend it honestly um few years one two nowadays one year two year five years is a lot in one place so it's a good starting point pick a job that has good benefits like don't just look at the money the dollars and cents um, especially in like certain industries the dollars and cents are meaningless because they fire people and hire people like crazy so they have a high uh, turnover rate, so dollars and cents can be irrelevant. Look at um, benefits, and when you get your benefits, especially your 401k, when you leave a company, do not take the check. Roll it over into something personal and hold on to it. For sure, hold on to your benefits. The, why do I say that? Like the 401k stuff it's because they're assets they are really assets so whenever you know want to make purchases of big things they are going to show up as things that you have assets that you own so don't be like me and spend that money i've spent it every single time i'm never doing that again but i'm also like <sighs> i'm also like 31 if i wasn't thinking that way there would be something wrong with me but that's my advice to younger people don't look at that money like and say oh i only earned a thousand in a year what's that leave it alone don't chow it besides the fact that you lose a lot of that money to penalties when you chow it leave it alone put it somewhere open a 401k that's separate and roll it into that a 401k account or whatever roll it into that and then um if you don't like a job this is the biggest piece of advice i'll ever give anybody if you don't like a job don't underperform at jobs leave okay that whole thing of like keeping a job that you hate don't do it come up with a plan look for something in a completely different career field different go and do that and then like switch the jobs okay um be humble when you're switching jobs because you're changing especially if you're like literally jumping from like uh, sales to vet side veterinary and you take vet <laughs> sales to like a technician of some sort like when you're making a you jump like that be humble with your pay requirements okay a little bit above minimum wage should be good enough um yeah if you are if you're doing an in-person customer service jobs switch to over the phone customer service jobs if you can work from home or even an office but just switch and then um yeah those are like the basics everything else will make sense um as you go along and then if you need breaks in your actual career plan them like especially if you're young um, the most important thing is don't work every day take time off um, really try to stick with that with your guns on that one if you're working in a place that's very strict it's about you can take them off you can't no, no, no. find another job okay it's not for you that place <laughs> uh you can only do it for so long again don't give yourself those deadlines i used to do this thing of saying oh let me stay at a company for like at least six months at least this art is good for my resume no 
two months, three months, you're all right, move on next. But don't go into a job knowing you're gonna quit. You're trying it out and you're just playing the field and having a good time. You're dating your job to find your career. <laughs> I think that's what I would like to say. You're dating your job to find your career. Same way you're dating people to find your spouse or your life partner or whatever. Okay, so there's that, right? Um, and then if you find something you like, stick to it, but switch jobs. So switch companies uh, just for the pay upgrade. I think it's a very good move. Just allows you to renegotiate stuff or you can switch departments within the same company. Very healthy, very good idea. Um, I have had some interesting jobs. <laughs> a lot of them were um, just doing what I needed to do, get by, and I'm so grateful for that. And even now, I'm still doing what I need to do to get by. But I've created such, I have a, I have a desire for stability now that I didn't have when I was younger. So now things that, things that I didn't understand when I was younger, they make sense to me now. I am one of those people that like to be too challenged at work. <laughs> and I didn't realize that about myself. I used to think I like challenging work. But I think you have to understand that your version of challenge and the world of version of challenge can be very different i'll tell you guys about like my transition i'll do like a separate story about like my transition from college into like the real world um and like uh, what it has taken for me to get here i'm really hoping to start doing like really really long chit chats with you guys that way we just kind of hang out for longer you guys about the coffee shop i really want to put some coffee shop footage here i just want you guys to see how huge <laughs> the treats in the back in the coffee shop are they cost about five bucks so if i go there once in a while i'll spend five bucks on the treat and five bucks on the coffee it's a very beautiful combo it's not an everyday thing it's almost a once a week thing i'd like it to be but i'm not right there <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. Um, and oh yeah, I was saying so yeah, about talking about my work, my work day. So right now I have a headache because I'm recovering from how hot it was. My office is in the hottest room in the house, so sometimes the sun pours in in the afternoon, so it's sunny, it's light, and it's warm. Ain't no fun. But yeah, I am done for today. Let me edit this. I'm going to edit a couple of videos and upload and like just schedule them out a little bit. Um, I think